This is an overview of the WooCommerce Category Carousel by Unlimited Elements. To get started, drag the WooCommerce Category Carousel into your Elementor column. It will automatically show all the categories that you have set up inside of WooCommerce. Of course, each category can have an image and it will display the images as shows. Right now I have a hats, kids, and men's category. And if you scroll using the arrows, you will see the rest of the categories. You can also use the bullets or turn autoplay on. Over here on the left side, the general settings are for filtering your, filtering your categories. So you can decide to show only categories under a parent category, to decide to include or not include children categories, and you can decide to exclude categories by name, like shows in the example over here. You can change the ordering as you want, and the last setting over here is for the button text. So for example, I can change the button text to just view, and now it shows as I've input it in the input. Inside of carousel settings, we have an option to change the layout. So for example, I can change the layout to overlay, and right now only when I overlay over, each part, I will see the overlay. Let's check out under overlap, partial overlay. For partial overlay, I recommend that you jump into style and make the image height bigger, just like this. Back to carousel settings and reveal from bottom, which is just a nice reveal effect from the bottom and side by side which shows the image and the content side by side. A lot of people like this as well. Over here, you can change the number of items to show. So for example, I'm going to change it to two and you can do this per screen resolution. So if you're going to want to change it just to one in tablet mode, you can do that as well. Let's jump back into desktop and you can turn autoplay on. Now the carousel every three seconds, which is set up in the autoplay interval, will transition for one second and paginate. Margin between items is the margin in the middle over here. So I can change that to 50, for example, and now there's a bigger margin. Inside of style tab, oh, let's just stop the autoplay. So inside of carousel settings, you can turn off the autoplay just so it won't be annoying. And over here, we can change the image height as we talked earlier and change the alignment. So for example, maybe you think this way it looks better. Awesome. Next thing is for image border radius. You can change the border radius of the image and item border type. So you can make the whole item have a border just like that. Of course, you can change the width and its color. I'm not going to touch those. Content padding is for the padding around the content. So if I'll push this up, you can see it pushes the button inside which looks pretty good. Content background, you can play around with this, but I'm not gonna to touch it. Let's leave it white and jump into title. For title, you can decide to show the title or not. Change the color, the typography, and the title spacing. Inside of description, you have the similar options to show or hide the description if you want. And you can change the, its color, its typography, and its spacing. Inside of the button settings, again, we can show the button or not show the button. And we can change all of its colors. What's interesting here is that you can change the button style from full width to auto width. When you change it to auto width, many people think it might look better this way. Because now it takes the width of the content inside of the button. And you can make that larger if you want by unlinking the padding and adding more padding on the left and the right. So that's just an example of what you can do with button padding. The next settings are for the navigation arrows. So for navigation arrows, this is the placement on the horizontal axis. So right now it's pushed outside of the column minus 100 pixels. If you want to push it inside, you can give here a positive value. Nav position is for the positioning on the Y axis. 
nav error radius if you want to make these rounded, which I think looks good. You can change the background size of this and the arrow size. So if you want the arrow to be bigger or smaller, you can do that as well. Of course, all of the color settings and navigation dots is for the dots under here. You can make these a bit bigger and you can space them out from the content and space between them, which is also awesome. You can align this as well. So thank you for joining guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'm going to see you in the next video.